some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we encounter a sovereign citizen, well, who actually admits that he's a sovereign citizen. And he is picked up on uh, having a few warrants because of unpaid traffic tickets. And it is also noted that he has no insurance on his vehicle. So he is given a ride to the police department to cover all those issues, but while during the ride, he spouts off all kinds of sovereign citizen BS. And this is not just a one-way conversation either, considering the officer actually wants to understand how this man thinks and starts to try to corner him on certain issues. So let's give a shout out to DFW Emergency Photography for originally uploading this video within the past couple of days. So go check out their channel, rate, comment, share, subscribe if you happen to like it. In the meantime, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I can get my spill right into the camera, right? Your spill? <laughs> go ahead. That's what you say, yeah. Under the Uniform Commercial Code, Book 1, Section 308, which says, and I quote, I reserve my right not to be compelled to perform under any contract or commercial agreement that I did not enter into knowingly, voluntarily, and intentionally. Furthermore, I reserve my right not to be compelled to accept the liability of said commercial contract or said commercial agreement that I did not enter into knowingly, voluntarily, and intentionally. While you have some good memory retention, I just wonder where you got that quote from. Did you get it off some Sovtard website? Because that's not what the uh, UCC says in that particular section you just quoted. But not like it really matters anyway, considering the UCC or the Uniform Commercial Code are codes that govern the laws of commerce in this country. It does not govern anything to do with civil or criminal matters. It is a guideline for commerce. Nothing more, nothing less. But these softards tend to think that the United States is a corporation and not a sovereign nation. You sound like a well-spoken gentleman. Thank you, sir. So let me ask you a question, just from my knowledge here. What does all that mean? That means that uh, the Uniform Commercial Code, I didn't enter into a contract with the United States government. I didn't accept the United States dollar as a contract, which is what it is. So how do you buy and sell something? Uh, well, I'm forced to. You're forced to accept the dollar. You don't have a choice. Oh, so accept it, but you just don't, you can't accept it, but you don't accept it, in a way. I, I don't accept the contract. I accept the payment because that's what people pay with. I don't accept the contract because I didn't enter into that contract. Okay. Every law written since then was since, not... Since when? Since, since 1933. 1933? Yes, sir, since 1933. So, so what, what did people use before that? The Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, you are quite the dimwit. I mean, come on, Dingleberry. There were laws passed before 1933. In fact, here are a few examples of them going by the screen as we speak. I mean, come on now. you got to have a little bit more intelligence than that. Yeah, but what, what monetary... Uh, gold. Uh, gold. Gold standard. The uh, gold standard was in use from the late 19th century to the early 20th century until after the Great Depression. But during this time, even during the time of the gold standard, paper money was still issued. So you're kind of oversimplifying a very complicated issue. Or you just have a total misunderstanding of the situation as a whole, which I'm guessing it is more of an issue of misunderstanding by this point. So, uh, they abolished the Constitution and, and stated the Uniform Commercial Code, which I didn't know. And so, all your traffic laws are written under that Uniform Commercial Code. Uh, can I get a citation on that, dude? Because, you know, uh, I've heard all sorts of things about uh, the Constitution since I was a child. 
One in particular that stuck in my head was that the uh, Constitution was written by communists in the 1950s to subvert the United States, which uh, doesn't really make any sense at all. But let's carry on with this man's stupidity, shall we? And here's the kicker. The judge is not liable. And you can't sue the state. You cannot. You cannot sue the state? No, you cannot sue the state. So who, who do you sue? And the judge is protected by the bench as long as he wears that black robe. But the district attorney who no, prosecutes... I don't think anybody's above the law here. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. Pay attention. I'm not arguing. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm trying understand. to learn because I hear a lot about this. I'm just curious to learn. Okay, so the judge, the judge is protected by the bench. As long as he's on bench wearing a black robe, anything he says, you cannot sue him for that. He's protected by the bench. What if he and does you misconduct? And you, well, that's, that's different. Oh, okay. How is that different? I need citations. Give me citations of, or examples of anything you've got. I mean, just don't spout off a lot of bullshit that you don't know anything about. But if, if he gets outside of his conduct, then he's liable. But he's protected for what his rulings are. Because his rulings are according to the law. According to the state's law, that's right, according to the Uniform Commercial Code. It's also according to the Constitution. No, you moron. According to the local, state, or federal laws, depending on the situation, not to the Uniform Commercial Code, which does not govern the United States. The Constitution and the laws do, not the Uniform Commercial Code. But I have not infringed on anyone else's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay? So, here's, here's the part where... not be my accuser. So if there's no injured party, then there's no crime. Ah, yes, the classic no victim, no crime uh, argument. That is a load of garbage anyway. Let's use insurance as an example, which you apparently don't have any. If you're driving without insurance, that doesn't seem like a uh, issue, right? Well, what happens if you run into somebody? You run into somebody's property or you injure somebody? Well, you don't have the insurance to cover the damages to the uh, property or persons. Now, that becomes an issue of who pays for the damages in this particular scenario. If you cannot afford it, then your insurance company will pay for it. Otherwise, people will get sued, and it becomes a whole legal issue, which is why laws were created to try to curtail this issue. Yeah, but it's so you law. have to, you you guys now have the burden of proof. You have to bring forth an injured party, and it cannot be a state officer. But if the law says something, you go against it, then you're breaking the law, which means what law? I have not infringed on anyone else's right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. I am well within the Constitution of the United States of America. Yeah, but driving is a privilege; it's not a right. Driving is not a privilege. Driving is a fundamental right. I have the right to free and unrestricted travel. Oh yeah, you have the fundamental right to travel anywhere you want to go in the United States and using a means of conveyance at your disposal. But if that means of conveyance is a motorized vehicle, then it becomes a privilege regulated by the state. There has to be a licensing process to uh, ensure that People know how to operate these machines so they don't go hurting anybody or damaging property. And then there has to be insurance laws to make sure that if people are hurt or property is damaged, that that will be taken care of. But you just don't seem to understand that, do you, Softard? I mean, hell, I understood it when it was explained to me at the age of 15, well over 20 years ago by this time. How old are you, and why is it that you can't seem to understand this little concept? Anywhere throughout the continental United States of America, by any means I deem necessary. As long as you by have coach, the proper documentation. No, sir. No, no, sir. No, sir. By coach, by motor car, uh -huh. by uh, horse and carriage, by uh, foot, by motorcycle, by whatever deem means I deem necessary. Yeah. And unless I'm operating a commercial vehicle, driver's license, insurance, seatbelt tag, and inspection sticker are not required. Wow, 
you have fallen so far down the rabbit hole that I don't think there's any escape for you. But let me try to help you out, Soft Hard. If you would actually take some time to look up the laws and understand what the Tenth Amendment is, uh, you would understand that these things are required. But I think at this point it might be a useless endeavor to even try to help this guy out because he's consumed copious amounts of lead paint chips until the point where his brain has completely fried. Are my guys over there in that truck? They're driving a commercial vehicle. That's a company truck. And that company truck has commercial insurance on it. And they have driver's license and they are legal because they are a commercial vehicle. judges there and you don't believe in judges do you i do believe in judges i believe strongly in our jurisdictional system okay so so those judges those judges at, up at the supreme court level have heard this case so many times that they will not even hear it anymore they yeah rule in my favor they rule in my favor every time seriously seriously okay give me an example uh, and i can't think of a case right off the top of my head i'm kind of rattled right now but you know I'm, i am in handcuffs in the front seat of a car going to jail <clears throat> It's funny that you were able to come up with uh, other BS arguments this whole time while you were sitting there, but you just can't seem to come up with any uh, rulings on the subject. So, which tells me you haven't actually done your research and that you are just continuously spouting off more and more BS anyway. So, why should we believe you? And even if you did present a case that you claimed was on your side. A lot of times I look up these cases and they have nothing to do with anything the Sobtard is trying to argue. Because you know what? You idiots never actually take the time to actually do the proper research to understand what these cases are. You just spout off what you hear other people talk about instead of thinking for yourself well at this point i'm just going to end the video right here because they'll continue to talk to each other about other things after this so i hope you like the video i will see you on the next one